So this question says, a food truck sells salads for $6.50 each and drinks for $2 each. The food truck's revenue from selling a total of 209 salads and drinks in one day was $836.50. How many salads were sold that day? So this question is definitely a translate word problem question, right? We see that anytime the question is three or more lines long. So I'm going to say three plus lines long. So the way that you want to approach these questions, which I didn't just now, but the way we want to do that in the future is never really read the entire thing. Read one sentence at a time. Make sure to translate any quantitative information um, before moving on. So let's try that again. A food truck sells salads for six fifty, right? So salad equals six dollars fifty cents. Drinks for two dollars. So drinks, I'll just say D equals two bucks. The food truck's revenue from selling a total of 209 salads. Now that's that's interesting. So S equals 209 for the salads and drinks. So that's not correct. So actually uh, S plus D equals 209. So salads plus drinks is total of 209. Uh, the total revenue was $836.50. Well, what does that mean? That means that for every salad that you paid $6.50 for, so that's six fifty dollars times the number of salads plus $2 times the number of drinks, ended up with a revenue total of $836.50, right? So here's a, here I am translating everything that I read. How many salads were sold that day? So S question mark is what I'm trying to find. So here's the two bits of information that I have. I know that all together there were 209 total salads plus drinks. And then here's the amount of money that was made. This is a system of equations. And this happens a lot on this test. Okay, so hopefully as you see more of these, you'll get accustomed to just expecting that, oh, this is setting me up for a system of equations. So I'm going to write it again, a little bit more space this time. 650s plus 2d equals 836.50. And I'm going to decide to use elimination, all right? So I'm going to multiply the top equation by negative 2 so that I can cross out my d's, my drinks. So I'm going to put a negative 2 here, cross that out. That becomes a negative 2 here. Cross this out. This becomes a negative 4. 18 because 209 times negative 2 was negative 14. So here I'd end up with 4.5s. Here the 2d crosses out, which is you know what I was looking to happen. And then here negative 418 plus 836.50. This is the calculator section. I do recommend that you use your calculator um, instead of doing mental math. So negative 418 plus 836.5. Uh, I think I did that wrong. 418, a negative 418 plus 836.5 equals, that is equal to $418.50. And then we're going to divide both sides by 4.5 to figure out what S is. So that divided by 4.5 is 93. So S is equal to 93. Therefore, my answer is choice B. Again, the trick here was in the translation. We got all this information, we put it together, we put it together, and we realized that it was a system of equations, um, which hopefully we've all seen.